Vocabulary 5. Hi, I'm Sonia Berger and you are watching the Best My Test TOEFL vocabulary video series. We will focus on environmental issues today. Our first word is deforestation. Deforestation is the act of clearing trees, basically chopping them down. Now why would you want to chop trees down? Maybe because you want to mine or plant crops or build cities. And while all these things are necessary for human survival, sometimes deforestation can have a very high cost as the Mayan civilization learned too late. Here is the sample sentence. Some scientists believe deforestation led to the rapid decline of the Mayan civilization within the span of just 100 years. Large-scale deforestation of the jungle to build cities and plant cornfields caused a 30% reduction in rainfall and led to environmental disaster. Our next term is acid rain. Acid rain is acidic rain that forms when the waste gases from burning fossil fuels combine with rainwater as it falls from the sky. And this unholy concoction kills forests and pollutes lakes. Many lakes and other waterways become so acidic that some animals and plants can no longer live in them. Here is a sample sentence. Sulfur dioxide, a major contributor to acid rain, is an especially serious pollutant because it diminishes the respiratory system's ability to deal with all other pollutants. Let's talk about a word that is a lot more positive than acid rain. Biodiversity. As we've done in the past, we're going to break the word up into its two roots in order to understand it better. Bio, I've taught you before, means life. Diversity means variety. In this case, the variety of different animals and plants that live in a specific habitat or place. The higher the biodiversity, the better. I am fortunate to live in one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, the Cape Floral Kingdom. So here is a picture I took and a sample sentence in which the word biodiversity is used. The Cape Floristic region the smallest of the six recognized floral kingdoms of the world is an area of extraordinarily high biodiversity. Now for the word ecosystem. Whenever you see the word eco in combination with other words, you can assume with great probability that that word will be about the environment. An ecosystem is concerned with the complex relationships of living organisms with each other, with one another, and their environment. An ecosystem is a web of complex relationships in a specific habitat or place. In many ecosystems, dung beetles perform a key role in the decomposition of dung produced by herbivores. So what is the meaning of the word ecology? We've learned that eco refers to the environment and logi means the study of. So ecology is the scientific study of relationships between living things and their environment. Here is a sample sentence. Pollution poses a serious threat to the ecological balance in riverine and oceanic systems. The moral of the story is Look after the world in which you live. Treasure the biodiversity. Protect your environment. You are a living organism, part of that complex web of relationships, and you only have one world. If you want to know more about TOEFL vocabularies or TOEFL practices, go to the Best My Test website. www.bestmytest.com